All right, what's up guys? So welcome back. Uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos with Try Hack Me, please hit that sub button, hit the like button. It helps out so much more than you know. Also, keep in mind, guys, we did start a Patreon for um, more exclusive content. And when I say exclusive, it's not just um, exclusive to Patreon. It also is much different than the content I do here. It's it's not just Try Hack Me's and CTFs and stuff. It's a little bit more um, in-depth with what real hackers do and things like that. Things that um, I don't have to worry about being censored and that type of stuff. So... Without further ado, let's hop right into it. At first, I wasn't sure if I'd like this box, I'm gonna be honest with you, because it's just a, a simple OSINT box, I thought, but they do a really good job of explaining, and they do a really good job of making you actually search for things, which I like. It's not just something simple, right? Some of the first ones are, but... All right, so search light. Let's hop right into it. So first thing they're gonna to explain to you is the difference between image intelligence and geo intelligence. So basically, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Image intelligence is, is analyzing images. Geo intelligence is um, finding ge the geo or geogra geography of it, right? So finding where they're located, that type of thing. Um, Geolocation, that type of stuff. So they're just explaining here the format of the flag, their SL flag. You can see the first flag they say is ready. So you have to type that in. All right, first, first challenge. Let's hop into it. All right, so the first tool is our eyes. So I'm not going to read these things word for word for you guys. If you guys want to do that, feel free. I'm just going to cover them. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so first thing, I always look, what is the name of the street where this image was taken? And I purposely have it covered for right now. So what is the name of the street where the image was taken? So let's hop into it. So here's task one, or task two, I guess it starts, right? So we open it up, and... Okay, this one's pretty simple. It says, welcome to Carnaby Street. Okay, so from this image, we can pretty much get some information. We can see it's Carnaby Street. Um, some more stuff I'd look at is, you can see here it says Carnaby Street. There's a makeup store, um, whatever that says. These are streets, or I mean, uh, stores that you could then research, and you could find this exact location if you'd like. It's, it's pretty simple, probably. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to it. And we just type in Carnaby Street. Boom. First one done. That one was easy, right? So you're when you're looking for um, image intelligence, right, you're looking for more than just simple street sign because that sometimes you'll have that, sometimes you won't. So you're looking for all kinds of context clues. You're looking for those, those stores. You're looking for stuff like that. So as you can tell, we're going to get a little bit more difficult. So this one is just Google it is the name of the challenge. Um, which city is the tube station located in? All right, so <clears throat> go ahead and minimize this. So task three. Okay, so we've got a little bit different um, here. So here we go. So if we zoom in, you see we've got Illy Circus Station, L-Y Circus Station. Okay, and it looks like we're in Europe for sure. Um, there's a gap here. It looks like that's a Hyundai so it's almost it almost kind of looks like a Times Square of Europe. Um, so I'm not sure what that would be, but let's go ahead and research it. So let's go ahead and Google, and we're gonna say Illy Cir. Oh, you can see I already did it. Circus Station. Okay, and the first thing that popped up was Piccadilly. Circus Tube Station. Now, the reason that gives me the go-ahead that that's probably it is because if you look here in the question, which I have it over here, if you look in the question, it says, what city is the tube station located in? Well, here in America, we don't call them tube stations, so I know that that's probably not, or that's probably it then, because this is a tube station. So, Piccadilly Circus tube station boom now we could if we really wanted to make 100 percent sure this was it we could look at some more pictures of it we could go back to we could type in pick a dilly circus station and then we could do some images and we could see if we could find that same image and boom there it is so we know that's it all right so we know doing a little research located in I know, I saw it. Oh, there it is. London Underground. Okay, so it's located in London. Which tube station do these stairs lead to? Okay, and we can go ahead and say... See if we can go back and actually 
image search and see if it'll tell us the exact one. Piccadilly, do, 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 do. I was just trying to see if that one specifically would show us. Doesn't look like it's going to. And we'll just go back to this. But basically, you can just do pretty much tell by um, what it says, right? Because it literally says in the photo, if I pull the photo back up, it says Piccadilly. Um, right there, Piccadilly Circus Station. So right there, the tube station leads you to Piccadilly Circus. Um, which year did this station open? Again, they're just trying to see if you could find this page and get some information. Opened in 1906, pretty easy. How many platforms are there? And you can see Wikipedia has it right here, number of platforms, four. Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. All right, so we've gotten the two easy ones. That one's pretty easy. Let's keep at it. Let's get into the harder stuff. Um, so they want you, they, they talk about Google dorking in this. Um, I didn't have to Google dork anything to figure these out. So I'm not going to cover Google, Google dorking in this because I think Google dorking needs its own video. So I will be doing a video on it, but I don't think this is the time to, if, if it's, if you're looking at this and saying, Oh crap, I don't know about Google dorking. Don't worry about it. You could, you can do this without it. Um, but if you're interested in Google dorking, I'm going to make a video on it for one. But the other thing is it's pretty simple to research that separately. You don't need to have it for this. So, all right, so we're on task four. All right, so task four, we'll go ahead and close this photo. Okay, so this one, yeah, so sometimes these get weird because they're not the right format, whatever, and I have to open them with a text editor. Okay, so this one, it looks, initially, it looks a little bit harder because, hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. You're not missing anything with this little corner missing. Um, so this one looks a little harder because it's pixelated. It's got nothing really in the text. Uh, you can zoom in and try and see, but it's too pixelated to really see much. But this yvr.ca right there, I don't know if you guys see that. It gets worse as I go. But yvr.ca, that is the key. So then if we go here, and we say yvr.ca. Okay, it says passengers. So Vancouver International Airport is YVR. Okay, so Vancouver International Airport. Perfect. So now we've got a Wikipedia page on them. And let's start answering questions. So we can go ahead and close this. We found where we're at. And then we can go ahead and pull up. Try Acme. Okay, which building is this taken in? Vancouver International Airport, right there, boom. Which country is it located in? Well, Vancouver's in Canada, so boom. Now, which city is the building located in? Now, this one, you have to just look here. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page, and it looks like Richmond. Yep, and there it is. City is Richmond. Okay, so first four, or first three, I should say, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, this one, they give you, for some reason, they give you these two photos. I didn't need the two photos, so I'm not, this one, I didn't need this photo, so I don't know um, if there's a clue on this photo that, that you can find or what, but, all right, so this one's a little bit, starts getting a little bit harder, but also a lot of fun. So a friend of mine contacted me asking if I could help them locate a coffee shop that is supposed to have the best lunch there is. They told me the coffee shop is somewhere in Scotland. Okay, so we have Scotland, right? So that's already a good one. Do you think you can locate it and answer a few questions for me? Okay, so this is task five. Of course. Okay, perfect. So we don't have much to go off of here. They say they gave us two photos, but the other photo is just a table. So the if we zoom in here, the Edinburgh Woolen something so if we go to google the edinburgh not grand hotel woolen okay woolen mill and we know it's in scotland so let's go to scotland okay edinburgh woolen mill okay perfect so now 
the question is, we've got, it looks like there's a lot of them. It looks like it's a, this is a common mall or something. So if we go to maps and we look at them, oh yeah, so in Scotland there's a bunch of them. Okay, that's good to know. So let's click on one. Okay, perfect. If you look at this, down here at the bottom, it gives us like the entrance photo, right? Or like the entrance, so we can look at the different ones. This one doesn't look right. You can see here, that's not it. This one is closer, but not it, right? Because if you look at the photo, it's got a rounded front a little bit with, with the white and red brick. So we're looking for something similar. No. No, that's definitely not it. Um, Let's see. That one's not it. No. And you can, you can look down here and see if you find one close. This one's kind of close if you, well, you can't see it there, but down here you can see it's, it's kind of a rounded front. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see it off the top here. What's this one here? Okay, now we're looking somewhere. I missed it right at the beginning. So, because it's different color in the picture. But right here, that's definitely it. Look at that. That's definitely it. Okay. So now how do, we need to see the what's behind it. We need to see the coffee shop. So let's throw ourselves in street view. Okay, I guess that, that doesn't count as, as in street view yet. Okay, here we go. So we're in street view. Let's get right in front of it. There it is. I mean, that's that's it. 100%. Let's look. Let's go back. Okay, look at it. And then look at the picture. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. There's even the blue sign, the, the go this way sign. So if we turn us around in street view, the Wee Coffee Shop. Okay, that's got to be it. That's the only, whoops. It's the only restaurant here. Now, you can't tell because the shutter or the windows are closed so you can't look in yet and see you know what we're looking at but you can see here the wheat okay here we go so the wheat coffee shop if we click on it here now you can see inside there's a table right there and if we look at this there's that table right there so this is probably it they even have the the these six posters here if you look here they have the six posters so this is most likely what we're looking for. Um, so let's go ahead and start answering the questions then. So we found it. I mean, think about this. Think of how crazy this is. From this photo, we found this specific coffee shop in the middle of the world. So think of that. That's that's pretty nuts, guys, to think of. Okay. So now, which city is this coffee shop located in? And this is pretty simple. We can just go back here. We'll pull this up. And we'll go ahead and... The Wee Coffee Shop. Let's see if we can get. Oh, that's the photo. Okay. So here we have Blair Go, Go Blair Gallery. I don't know how to say that. Blair Gallery in United Kingdom. Okay, so that's our town. Okay, which street is it in? And it tells us Allen Street right there. A L L A N Street. Was their phone number? And their phone number's right there. What is their email address? Now their email address, I'm not gonna go to it on here just because uh, I might be logged into my Facebook since I'm using my browser, not the VM, and I don't wanna do that. But basically you just go to the facebook.com. Um, here, I'll, I'll do it over here and see if I'm logged in that way or not. Okay, so, so you just go to their website, but it's just a Facebook page. Do, 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 do. And then it's not loading, right? The about page isn't loading. But if you click on the about page right here, and we can try it in a different browser, because I, I was having this issue yesterday for some reason. The, um, the Facebook about page wasn't loading. It was telling me I had to log in or something, but... 
I wasn't going to log into my Facebook. Yeah, so this one is logged into my Facebook, and I think I had to log in to see it. But if you go to their About page, it will show you. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys part of it here. So you guys can see right there the We Coffee Shop at AOL. That's on their Facebook About page. And the only reason I'm only showing you guys part of it is because that's my Facebook. I don't want to give up any information if I don't have to. I'm sure um, it's not that hard to find me. Um, but anyway, so now what is the surname of the owners? This is just a quick Google search. You just do a quick Google search of it, and it'll tell you. Um, so the We Coffee Shop, let me get the. We'll just type the We Coffee Shop. Pull this over for you guys. The We Coffee Shop. Yeah, Blair Gallery. All right. And we'll just see if we have any information. Mm hmm. And we can see someone already searched the owners. It's a bustling morning in Edinburgh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Right there. Debbie and David Cochran. All right. So quick Google search tells us it's Cochran is their surname. Perfect. We knocked that one out of the park. All right. So now it's going to start getting a little harder, guys. All right. So now we're on task six. Now we're going to start doing reverse image searching. This one, pretty easy. So you can see here, task six. Interesting. Where are we? So now I'm just going to go on my regular computer. And I'll go ahead and oops, download this. And we'll do a reverse image search. If you guys don't know how to do reverse image search, I'll show it here. Okay, so we're on task six. Download. Now we're just going to go to Google. Now there's different websites and they give you a couple. Um, this one, Google will work just fine. So we go to images. We go search by image, upload an image. And we'll just go here. All right, so cat's delicatessen. Okay, so looks like it's New York City, also known as Cats of New York City. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a nickname, I guess. This is definitely it. I mean, you can see all the photos. Okay, so we've got the name of the place. So now... Let's see. So you can see here, they show you there's RevI. These are extension add-ons. You don't even have to do that if you don't want. That was just a Google search real quick that I did. Um, another one you can do that's pretty easy is you can you can do um, what's called Yandex, Y-A-N-D-E-X. It's more international. You're going to get a lot more foreign. Um, if you're in America, you're going to get a lot more foreign results, but it does find a lot more photos. Um, so let's go ahead. So which restaurant was the picture taken in? So this one I had to use the hint because it's a famous nickname and it's Cat's Deli. The reason I had to use the hint was because I was typing in the name of the place and it was not taking it. So I had to figure out what am I doing wrong? So now what is the name of the Bone Appetit editor that worked 24 hours at the restaurant? This isn't even hard at all. I don't know why. So we could type in Cat's Delicacin Bone Appetit editor and that literally Worked 24 hours straight. Deputy editor Andrew Knowlton. Okay, pretty simple. That one was really easy. They're just trying to teach you um, reverse image searching and understanding what it is. So now this one, this one gets a little bit harder. This one um, was actually, I think, a decent bit harder if I remember correctly. Okay, so what is the name of the statue? Okay, so this is task seven. Okay. And that's a weird statue. So 
the more obscure something is like this, the easier it is to find. Keep that in mind. So for instance, all I type in here is it looks like a reindeer so or deer. So deer, we'll just put deer um, motorcycle statue, right? Okay, and it looks like pretty easily we got this, which is the deer sculpture. Um, so we need the name of it, right? So let's see. Motor deer sculpture. Okay, so this is just a picture. There's not really much information. Here we go. Chrome nosed. Nope, where'd it go? Here we go. Rudolph. Nope. Looks like Rudolph the Chrome Nose Reindeer. Is that the actual name? So we don't know if that's the actual name. So what we're going to do is Google it, right? So we've got a little bit more information, but do we know if that's the name? That seems kind of insane, right, for a name. And if we just go to all, I don't want to see the pictures yet. Okay, so that's pretty convincing Rudolph the chrome nosed reindeer Rudolph the chrome nose okay so that's the name of the statue Rudolph the chrome nosed reindeer which seems insane but hey whatever you want to make your your statues of that's on you okay so what's the name of the statue and it is indeed Rudolph the chrome nosed reindeer so if you look Rudolph the chrome nosed reindeer now who took this image this one was a little bit harder to find because you there's so many images here, like as far as, so we'll download it, right? And we'll go ahead and reverse image search it to see if maybe we can get something from that. And I know you guys can't see it right now. I'm waiting. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's possible related searches. Okay, we're just looking at this. So this one, you actually, it was kind of hard to find. I remember it. Um, you had to actually go through, no, nope, that was the actual walk write up I had to look at because this one was, I, I just didn't want to spend a lot of time on this one. But basically what it was, was you had to just scroll visit sites about this right to find this specific photo now the reason i didn't spend much time on this specific task was because i didn't see the point i guess right like if i'm looking at a picture for image intelligence i don't care who took the photo typically now there are special cases where that's going to be a main thing but this one this task didn't fit with the box really that much in my opinion so this one, what it actually was, I actually got really lucky on this one. So I went to visit Oslo. I just Googled outdoors. Well, I've Googled the reindeer, reindeer one. And this was, um, this was basically Oslo outdoors um, sculptures, right? So this one took a little bit of actually finagling in the, in the internet. But I went in and I clicked through here to find them. And I got really lucky because I found it the first one. I didn't know where it was. I just clicked it. And it tells me right here who took it, right? And that's the exact photo. So I knew that was the exact photo. Now you could probably um, Google image search it and you could probably get some results and you might find her name. I'm assuming that's a girl. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, the point is I don't see much point in seeing the author of the photo unless we're specifically looking for a person and that's a little different. So that's just me, right? You guys do with that what you will. But we found her. I'll, I'll put her name up here. Um, I don't know how to say that name. I'm not even going to try. Jersty? Jersty? I don't know. Um, all right. So that one was a little bit harder because once you guys start go trying to find who took this image, you'll realize 
that you, you, you just got to really dig in the internet um, to find who took the image. I thought it was just going to be a simple reverse image search, and then I didn't really see the point and keep going. So, all right. So this one. This one was actually super easy for me. Um, so basically the way I do these boxes, guys, is I do the boxes, and then I look up as many walkthroughs as I can to find how many different ways people did this, right? And some of these people that did some of these, um, not hating on them at all because they did their due diligence, but I feel like they wasted a lot of their own time. And I mean that in the sense of like the ways they did them were, seemed like it was very difficult or they went above and beyond they, what they needed to do, which is totally fine. Um, I'm just not going to show you guys those longer methods, I guess. Okay, so first things first, task eight. So we need to look at the statue. Okay, so that's an interesting one. Um, I can't. I think that's a woman. Kind of looks like a woman. Looks like she has breasts. Now, I know like you guys are thinking that's probably stupid to say, but it's actually kind of important to know whether you're um, looking at a woman or a man, only because I want to Google it. So now Google woman um, holding scales. Okay, so this is the general idea. Um, Lady Justice. Okay, so that's probably what statue this is. Is probably Lady Justice. So what's the name of the character? Okay, so it is Lady Justice. Perfect. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Where is this statue located? Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little bit harder, but not still not super hard, right? So what we'll do is we'll go back. Do, 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 do. And we will actually download this one. And then I'll go over here. I'll reverse image search it for you. The only reason I, I bring it over here, guys, is because um, basically just uh, OPSEC. So let me throw this up here. Task 8. I think that's what we're on. Yep. Okay. We can go ahead and close this. We know what we're looking at. Okay. So we found it. Okay, it's giving us some blind justice stuff. I'm not really sure what that is. So let's go to images and see if we find anything close. Hmm. Not sure why it's not showing us the images, but blind justice man is what it uh what it found, but I don't really want to search blind justice man because we'll go to all sizes. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, so this is the exact photo for sure. So let's look and see if we can find what building this is through this, right? Okay, so do a lot of U.S. Surveillance Court. Okay, there's a lot of court stuff in here, if you guys don't notice. Death penalty, Supreme Court, Statue of Justice. Okay, so this is a court. Okay, so this is a definitely a courthouse, which is what I thought. So we'll say Lady... Justice Supreme Court statue. And all we're doing, we're looking for that same one. Right? All right, let's let's try and uh, edit our thing here. Lady Justice Courthouse statue. All right. That one's close. That one's close. All right, so I'm not finding a whole lot on Google, so I'm going to switch it over, and I'm going to go to Yandex. Whoops. This is typically if I'm not um, if I'm not finding much. Okay. I've got it pulled up over here. I'm not going to mess with it. All right, so if I'm not finding much, I'm just going to go to Yandex, right? Let me reverse image search it. Okay, so on Yandex, here we've got it reverse image searched. And we're just, this is the same thing, reverse image search, but we're looking for similar photos. So like this one, I thought I had it here. I thought for sure I had it. And then I realized it's in Russian or something, and I don't, speak Russian and yes I could go what you could do is you could go and um, 
use like some sort of app or something and translate all that, but I didn't want to. So here we're looking, we're looking. This one again, you could probably translate that and figure out what's going on. But if you keep scrolling, which is what I did, we're looking for one that kind of gives us some, some more information is really all I'm looking for. Like this one, this is perfect. So something, so Ryan United States, and I'm going to assume that's courthouse, right? So let's go ahead and type in, whoops. Ryan Federal Courthouse. Let's see. Okay, we've got Ryan United States Courthouse. So United States Courthouse. And we're going to say Lady Justice. Okay, so I, if you look, I just typed in United States Courthouse Lady Justice because we know it is. And the first one that pops up is Albert V. Bryan. So let's look at it. And boom, there it is. So that actually must be Albert V. Bryan Courthouse, not Ryan. Okay, so we've got the right courthouse. So now we can say... What's the, where is the statue located? Well, if you just Google exactly what we just did, Albert V. Bryan, federal courthouse. Here we go. It's in Virginia. Perfect. Here's a little bit more information on the right. It is Alexandria, Virginia. There we go. Now, what is the name of the building opposite from this statue? Well, this is a fun one because all we got to do is go to maps. We're already here. So take our street view. And we're looking for what's opposite of it, right? So here is, and boom, look at that. There's our picture to a T. Albert V. Bryan, United States Courthouse. Perfect. And then we turn around, and this looks like a hotel of some sort. The Weston Alexandria Old Town. <coughs> bless me <coughs> bless me sorry guys all right what's the name of the building the weston alexandria old town is the correct name of the building perfect all right so now we're on to our last one guys and this one is the fun one i mean they're all fun in my opinion like i enjoy doing this type of work but this one is a little bit more difficult and i'll explain to you why i don't know if they did this on purpose or not so we'll decide all right so Geolocating videos are much different. They tell you there's a good write-up for uh, FFmpeg. It's a tool that extracts images. It's a good tool, um, but that's not the way I did it. And the only reason that's not the way I did it is because I watched the video. All right, so I'm looking for, first thing first, when you're looking at a video like this, you're looking for POIs, points of interest. Number one, this three-tiered um, structure with like an I don't know, island or spaceship on top or whatever, that's got a definite POI, right? Look at it. I mean, that thing's fucking massive. All right. Okay, so another thing we're looking at. You see the brick right here? We're looking at that color because that's the building we're looking for. So we need to remember memorize that brick. Okay, a lot of different colored buildings. That's going to be good information for later. Okay, big, big, big POI here is that river. That's going to be huge. Okay, so we see some writing there. Hopefully we can get a clear shot of it because I can't really see. Oh, she's going to zoom in. Perfect. Okay, Riverside Point. Already we're looking, and that looks like a mall because you can see um, Brewerks here, um, Blanco, whatever. So that's some sort of Riverside Point. It looks like a mall of some sort. Um, let's see what else we've got. Some tents. It looks like a village and... Clark Quay Central. Okay, so they zoomed in on that too. So to me, Riverside Point, there's probably 500 Riverside Points. Um, but the one thing that I'm not familiar with or that I probably don't see a lot of is Clark Quay 
Central. I don't even know what that is. So Clark Quay Central. If we just Google it, Clark Quay Central. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Um, let's see. Here's this one, and it's in Singapore. So let's let's look outside and see if it's the same type of building. Well, that's not outside. That's inside. Okay, I'm still inside the mall here. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to here. Okay, Clark Quay. Okay, so number one, first thing I notice is there's a river. So that's good. That tells us that there it could be it. Let's go ahead and put our street view on. Okay, so it looks like the same building, but I don't see the Clark Quay part. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that. Clark Quay. Okay, and then what's this say? Something na Nature's? So, oh, look at that. Nature's right there. This is definitely our building. You can see the central, the big central there. Then this says Nature's. That says eight. And that right there, I bet if we could get a clear shot, would say eight. This is definitely our building. So what that tells me is if this is our building, they are most likely in that building right there. It's got to be. And look at that. It's got to be that building. Novotel. It's got to be that or Somerset. Okay, so Novotel. Okay, so now if I Google Novotel... Hotel Singapore Clark Quay. We get we get this um, these results, which is perfect. That's what we want, right? That's the building. So now we'll go ahead and pull it up. And what's the name of the hotel? Novotel Singapore Clark Quay. Perfect. There it is. It's that easy. Now I will tell you, you can go down some rabbit holes on this one. Okay, the number one thing I can tell you that you can go down is if you, I, I did this, so if you go through, so the first thing I did is in the video, I actually found, um, I, I found the Clark Quay Central, and then from there I tried to find Riverside Point, which is what I did, I found Riverside Point on the uh, street maps, and then I knew, okay, Riverside Point's just to the right, so I knew the general location, I could find it. But this, this, um, or whatever it's called, the Vo Novotel, whatever, it is not on Google Maps. You have to find it in Street View. Um, and there was a couple images I found in Street View where I don't know if the hotel's closed now or what happened, but there was a couple images where it actually, um, the whole building was covered. And it was covered by some sheet type thing. So I don't know if it was in construction or what. So keep that in mind that you have to keep digging because there's times where you, it doesn't make sense, but it's it. you just got to work a little harder. So here's a very clear shot that we just got from it, Novotel. And then here's the one I got earlier when I actually went up to it. And you can see, so watch, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here, boom, Novotel, perfect. And then if I go this way, is it, let's see. Yeah, let's go this way. You can see there, boom. The whole building, it might be gone. It looks like it's torn down. Okay? So keep that in mind that if you run into this and go, well, the building's got to be around here, right? Just keep looking. One of them's an older photo or a newer photo, one of the two. And there you go, Novotel. So I don't know if when they designed this, if they actually if the building was open when they designed the box or what, I'm not sure. So keep that stuff in mind, guys. Um, hopefully you guys like this, this series. I think this is a huge, huge, huge underestimated, um, skill image intelligence because so keep in mind when you're looking at pictures like this, now these, you're just trying to geolocate, but keep in mind when you're looking at photos for OSINT, you're looking for specific things besides location. That stuff's easy to find. You're looking for, ID badges on people, right? If you have a bunch of friends taking pictures, you need to find ID badges on them so that you now know what the ID badges to get in look like. Find um, procedures. If you see a security guard out front, you know 
Okay, they have security. You're looking for, you know, cameras on the building. You're looking for all kinds of stuff. So keep that stuff in, in your head when you're doing this because this is a huge skill that a lot, a lot, a lot of hackers take for granted, but also a lot of social engineers rely heavily on image intelligence. So keep this stuff in mind, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys keep uh, keep the support. We're almost to 500 subs and when we get to the 500 sub mark, don't forget guys, we're giving away a free key logger. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much and have a good day.